Hello and welcome to Some Assembly Required. I'm your host, Katrina Devine. Nobody steals my show. Hi, and welcome to Some Assembly Required. I'm your host, Torben Rudda. So last week, we promised you an air cannon, and this week, we're going to deliver. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to build an air cannon, like this one. And as always, we're gonna provide you with a 3D instruction set so you can go home and build one yourself. Our air cannon works by pulling back on this handle, which draws air into the giant chamber. When I release the handle, it forces air through the small hole, generating the air blast. So let's start building. We started by building a turret to increase our accuracy. We made it out of PVC pipes that is light enough to move around. Note that the rear of the frame extends far back. This is to keep the whole turret from tipping over when we pull back on the handle. We'll also need four bungee cords, some plywood, a shower curtain, handle, some eye hooks, a fancy carabiner, luggage tie-down straps, and of course, duct tape. We started by cutting a hole in the bottom of this garbage can. For this size can, we cut a hole that was eight inches in diameter. Let's cover the rough edges with tape so I don't get cut. I then drilled four quarter inch holes evenly spaced in the bottom of the can for the eye bolts and attach the bungee cords. The trigger assembly takes two plywood discs that are eight inches in diameter. I took the entire shower curtain and sandwiched it between the discs. Now, let's screw the sandwich together and attach a handle to the top to make the trigger. Then we'll add another eye hook to the bottom of the circular disc to secure the other ends of the bungee cords. To allow all four bungees to connect to this point, a carabiner is connected to the loop. Next, we attach the free bungee cord ends to the carabiner. You may have to play with the length of the bungee cord to get it just right. You want it tight at rest, but not so tight that it's not easy to pull back. Next, we'll pull the shower curtain over the edge of the garbage can and secure them with a luggage tie-down strap. Once we trim off the excess plastic and secure with duct tape, we need to mount the cannon on the turret. We simply glued and duct taped these plumbing fasteners onto the outside. Screwing would provide a more secure fit, but we didn't want any protrusions on the interior walls that might interfere with the airflow. All right, now let's go shoot some air. Think of the air shot from this cannon as two parts, a consistent volume in the center, surrounded by a spinning ring or vortex. The ring protects the air, resulting in surprisingly long-range blasts. You can see this when we fill the cannon with smoke. The vortex acts as a barrier between the moving volume of air and the surrounding still air passes through. You can download the 3D model and interactive instructions by clicking on the link beside this video. You can even download the Autodesk Publisher instructions to your iPhone or iPad. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like on Facebook or YouTube. Oh, and I bet you're getting a little curious about how we actually make all these fancy animations. Well, don't worry. In the next episode, we'll start revealing these secrets. And thanks for your comments on the hovercraft propulsion. I'm going to be working on those ideas for a future episode.